Something I've been experimenting with lately is a master tags database. So if you go in here, you can see a whole bunch of different tags. Um, they've got some numbers here. I'm still experimenting with using this instead of a traditional um, drop down or sort of multi select tag. So for example, if I click on one that has maybe more than a couple entries, so permaculture here, if I click on that, that's got direct links to my reading database here. And I can pull in any notes from that. Um, any, so I've got a notes database and a reading database as well as a swipe file. And there's tons of stuff in there I can pull in. Um, I do also have a tag here. Um, so I'm still debating whether or not to use this more heavily in terms of my notes databases. So let's say I click into that note, for example. Uh, I do a summary, I do my tags here. Um, and this will really start to help me uh, connect you know, anything that's got systems across a bunch of different databases. And I haven't fully decided yet if, if this is how I'm going to do it, um, but I am experimenting with it. And so for example, there's, there's other uh, databases that might be useful to include this as well, but really the ones that I use a lot would be the notes database and my reading database. I probably could also include uh, my courses, any studies that I'm doing and that sort of thing, but I am gonna experiment with this and um, you know, I can see that the reading list has three entries and there's two in the notes and there's probably a couple different ways that I can you know, view this, this database here. Maybe show the reading, show my calendar, show my notes. Um, and you can see that starts to get a little bit <laughs> crazy in terms of scrolling and whatnot. So there might be better ways to view this. And this way I can start to see which ones have more information than others. So I'm still getting, still getting used to it, still seeing if this is going to work for me, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like to set up a, a master, you know, tag database that then you can connect to other things that are going on in your other databases. So for right now, I've got four databases that I'm including. Um, really, I'm just focusing on notes and readings. Those are my two uh, most heavily used databases. Um, yeah, and so I think that this is going to be really useful just for, again, being able to see what are all of the different things across permaculture that I'm talking about. I could even, um, whether I want to add additional properties here or within the body of permaculture itself, for example, I could link that to an area. Because I know that I've got, you know, my permaculture ideas, my permaculture wall. There's other things that um, are in the areas that aren't really linked in here. So there might be other ways that I can, you know, really make this a more useful thing and, you know, give that a cover image that's more relevant, maybe, you know, something like, let's put some carrots in there. Um, you know, and then I could start to make it a little bit more visual if I wanted to. Could make that small, could make it large. Um, it really depends how you want to use it, but that's, that's what a master tag database could look like.